He is the creator and sustainer of all the worlds, whether those worlds are known or unknown to mankind. Whether those worlds are known or unknown to mankind. Okay guys, so uh, taking and cutting, uh, this is going to be a crude video, it's a uh, Trichoceros Pachinoi, had a bloom on it, but it's not doing nothing at all. Um, he's in desperate need of repotting, um, I'm moving, and I can't pick this up, it keeps breaking, so I'm going to have to bite the bullet on this guy, it's not my only one, I'm going to bite the bullet on him and uh, take the cuttings, and then this, I'm just going to pot I'm gonna have to uh, throw away with the root system but taking cuttings is not a problem so this will be uh, part one showing you how to do it uh, hopefully you have a better knife than I do like I said I'm in the middle of moving so I don't know where all my stuff is at and it's be pretty difficult to do one-handed but we're gonna go ahead and try um, all right so if you wanted to take a cutting from here from this branch right here and you were keeping the pot and you wanted to get more pups like this one up here I took a cutting and I got two branches that came off of that um, you could cut it you want to at least leave two to three um, aerials for the uh, for the base um, but if you're really wanting to keep it you know and have pups come off or branches come off the bottom part go up four or five um, but you can go down that far if, if you want um, you can also cut it wherever you want to but I'm gonna just go ahead and take my cutting now and you just cut hopefully you have a better knife than me and you have two hands I might have to pause the video hey guys, uh, sorry had to stop, couldn't do it with one hand with this crappy knife. Uh, hopefully you have a razor blade. Uh, so the objective is to get a nice, clean, straight cut. Um, you can see in there you got your growth ring. Let me get my knife in there. Got your growth ring, which that's very detrimental uh, when you come to grafting. That'll be a whole different um, video on what to do with that. But you just whoosh, cut it. There's the cutting. Nice long cutting. Um, he's yellow because he's been needing to be repotted hasn't had any uh, fertilizer in a while So just trying to grow him out tough um, So I'm not keeping this so I'm not gonna do anything with the rest of them the bases, but if you guys were going to uh, Keep this and try to get more pups off Cut it at a slant. Let me see if you can see that you see how it's at a slant Okay, when this callus is over it's going to be at a nice slant like this and rainwater when it comes it's going to run off you don't want it uh, straight across because then it would pool let me see if I can show you on this one I did a few years ago uh, I my finger out of the camera. and my camera's just not focusing today let me see if I can get that to focus there we go can't really tell but it's at a slant and it has a place for the water to drain off right there that's what you want because um, if it didn't have a place to drain off it would water would just sit there and it would actually rot it okay so that's a little lesson on that um, now if you did cut it at a slant and it's starting to callus over and you see little pits you could always just cut out a little drain just like that all right, so hopefully that was a little uh, informative. Um, I gotta go ahead and get these, the rest of these cut. Uh, we got some sunburn damage here. I don't know if you guys can see that sunburn damage. It's all calloused over though, so it's all right. Um, but yeah, I gotta get these cut and uh, then I'll show you what to do with the cuttings to prep them. All right, all right, got them all cut guys. Um, now, I'm really sorry. I don't have my tripod. I'm doing this uh, on moving day. So I'm sorry for the video quality. Um, but now you got this. 
you could just leave this in a nice dark cool uh, place for about a week two weeks and it will callus over or you could go ahead and see how I just did that on each rib cut it down just like that go all the way around and just slice them down and of course if you have a better knife than I do like a razor blade be better okay but even with this dull knife that was pretty easy all right now you guys are probably like uh, why'd you do that all right this bottom is where roots are gonna shoot out and I used to think that the roots only came out of the growth ring and yeah, that's a false lie they come out of everywhere where it calluses okay comes out everywhere this right here is going to callus over more roots more area for roots that is why i do that on every single rib on a um a columnar or a columnar cactus however you want to say it uh so pretty good and then i'll you see there's a little bit of dirt on here i'll have to get the hose and i'll wash that off and then i'll set it in a cool dark uh dry definitely dry place for a little while maybe a week or two weeks and it'll callus over and then I'll go ahead and stick it in a pot so I hope this uh, was helpful to you guys um, that want to know how to take cuttings off um, oh oh I gotta let you guys know this I'm sorry I'm trying to make this video quick uh, this one I know this is the top because there's the growing tip okay but now if I was to take and cut this right here I would have this section to here and I think I talked about this in the periscopsis video but you want to make sure that on this middle section you cut that you know this is the top because if you plant it upside down it's not gonna grow all right guys um, and again sorry about the quality of the cactus this guy I have been uh, growing pretty rough in the environments um, with very little care just wanted to see what he would handle and he's actually been doing pretty pretty damn good considering he hasn't been fertilized and gosh it's got to be at least two years so again hope you enjoyed the video um, once I get around to the grafting video I am gonna do it on a bigger cactus so you guys can see the uh, the growth rings and how to how to line them up and everything all right thanks for watching guys